Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. AF Sister Wig just sent me another banger and I decided I had to share her with you today. She came with some brown or nude wig caps and of course my wig. Now this one is a deep part bob invisible knot wig and it is a very undetectable human hair lace wig. Super affordable on top of that, so we're going to slay her from start to finish. She has about four combs in the inside, adjustable straps, and as you guys can see, they're like the bra strap kind where you can take them in and out of the wig, and they also um, have three adjustments for the straps. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my hairline. You guys seen I had a fire wig on before this one, and I have that wig, or that tutorial actually, linked in the description bar that was the last video that I did. Sidebar, I am still obsessed with the scent of <laughs> rubbing alcohol and I use that to clean up my hairline and it smells so good while I'm pregnant that I have to stay away. Now, can you guys see this hairline? Now, you guys know I always do a little bit of baby hair, but I had to go for a more baby hair look with this one because the hairline is bomb. Like, I literally could not have done this amazing on my own. They did that for sure. I'm going to just take a little bit of a wax stick. I decided to do as much of the customization to the wig before even cutting the lace off. That way it would make for an easier and much more neat application. So I went ahead and rubbed in, or brushed in rather, the wax. And while the flat iron went ahead and heated up, I went ahead and bumped the ends. Now obviously this is a straight texture wig, but you really did not have to do much. I have been trying to get on it and use a heat protector more often. Something that you guys have not seen me use very often in previous videos. But lately I have been curious to see if it definitely would improve, you know, the way my hair comes out. So what's great about this one is that it's better than the fake scalp. And I say that personally just because I kind of feel like sometimes with the fake scalp, you kind of see that line of demarcation. And as far as the longevity of the wig, washing it, some of that fake scalp might pull up a little bit. Um, you know, just my opinion. I do like the fake scalp, but I do like this better. This looks like my hairline. Amazing, right? Now this one was meant to be a deep side part, so you will see that um, on the right side um, there are going to be some longer pieces because I did opt for a middle part. So I went ahead and just cleaned that up, no big deal. But if you don't want to have to cut it, definitely go for the deep side part and I think it would definitely add a lot more personality. I just like that because this is that gorgeous, nice, um, traditional bob. I just really, really, really wanted to work with what it, you know, comes with. So this one comes in the length 8 inch and 10 inch. I believe this is a 10, a 10 inch and I have everything linked in the description bar. Obviously as I said it's pre-plucked and everything around the perimeter is baby hair if you do choose to use baby hair. Now you guys know this is about two days later. I'm still wearing this wig and I definitely pulled out some baby hair. You will see in, in the end and I'll explain the hairline a little bit more once I cut off the lace. But this is what it is. I pretty much prepped the wig. I straightened it out, bumped the ends, and I went ahead and took care of the hairline so that it's pretty much perfect. It doesn't mean I won't go back in and touch it up, but it's pretty much ready to install. Literally just cut off the excess lace, add your adhesive, and you are done. Really couldn't get more simple and beginner friendly than this. So I went ahead and applied the adhesive. As you guys see, I get it a little bit on the wig cap too, just so that the wig cap does not slide back. It's gonna stay in place because it is bonded down as well. Something really cool is this is Korean lace. I'm pretty sure I've had Korean lace before, but don't recall, and I really, 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 really was in love with the way this lace laid on my head, blended with my skin, and all of that. Did I mention this one is affordable to add to all of that? Definitely make sure you check out the description bar because you will not be disappointed with this one. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. 
so again this one comes as a deep side part but I did opt for a center part and you guys can see that the parting is just as amazing as the hairline definitely definitely one that is a must-have especially for the summer while it's still hot kind of take some of the hair off of your back and off your shoulders and kind of have something a little bit more nice and sleek so I pulled out the hot comb again you guys see I used to always use my flat iron these days I use the electric hot comb and I absolutely love it it's absolutely time to replace it on top of that but at this point you just pretty much finesse and perfect it until it's where you want the install is pretty much complete but of course I like to go in and primp and critique until I get it exactly where I want it at this point I'm adding a little bit of powder the only mistake that I made is I did use a powder that is a little bit lighter the powder that I'm using comes from a palette and there are multiple shades so I went with a shade that was more so like maybe a little bit lighter than my skin tone and as you guys can see it's giving off that white cast in my hairline which was a huge mistake after the video I ended up going in with rubbing alcohol and kind of just rubbing all of it off and kind of starting fresh with a fresh lace and that's pretty much the cheap way of not having to wash the wig. You kind of just use some alcohol to remove any adhesive, you use the alcohol to remove any powder and then you just start fresh. So again going in and primping there was again layer so I went ahead and cut a little bit of that off and touched it up again and that's pretty much it. You guys can enjoy the rest of this video. Again, this one came from AF Sister Wig. I have quite a few videos with this company lately. They've been shooting me some bangers and they have been absolutely one of my favorite companies to work with as of late. So don't forget to check out the description bar for all the details on this wig as well as a list and link of everything I used to achieve this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and as always, I'll see you in the next one.